on the road again. No, it's just me. I'm Alton, and I just want to bring to you a quick demonstration of the Volvo XC90 semi-autonomous pilot. I'm behind a wheel here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Another sunny day. As you'll notice from most of my videos, it's always a great day here in Charlotte, North Carolina, weather-wise. Uh, one ounce of snow that we've had so far this year has been good. You can actually see a little flicker there in the camera. Right up under the Honda element in front of us, you can actually see my current digital speed and you can see the speed limit as well. Now that's the head-up display, but that's not what we're gonna be covering. Semi-autonomous pilot, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set that. So let's go ahead and uh, set that in maneuver. First of all, from the steering wheel here, just gonna take it and press in. Now I'm gonna take you back to the dial there, right up under the uh, numbers 52. You can see a picture of the vehicle itself or a picture of the XE90. I'm gonna zoom back out to the steering wheel because here on the front, you can actually see where I'm pressing here, my thumb. I can zoom up or I can zoom out. So if you look at my thumb and the area where I'm pressing, and right above that, you can see an image of the vehicle. Now, if you're having a hard time actually seeing this from the movement of the camera, I apologize. But if you are not, you're just having a hard time actually seeing the icon behind the steering wheel there, you can zoom in and out, pinch feature on your iPad. Now I'm gonna take it and increase the distance of, I wanna follow the car in front of me. So I've actually just set it. So you can see there, there was a picture of the stern wheel. So now you have the picture of the stern wheel there. It was in green, but it kicked me out of semi-autonomous pallet. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and reconfigure, reset. First of all, let's get the distance down. So you can see the distance, see the icon right beside the number or the street sign, speed limit 45 there. Now notice the wheel has turned to green. That is semi-autonomous pilot. So now I can actually release the gas and release the stern wheel. Now, following a safe distance, as you can see, I'm gonna zoom out. It won't allow me to leave my lane. And at the same time, so it's actually clicking, it wants me to take control of the stern wheel. There wasn't a click, I'm sorry. The semi-autonomous pilot, the sturden wheel, which is there lit in green, actually went out. Simply meaning, pilot is gone and it's up to me to control the vehicle. So once again, my hand was off of the sturden wheel for far too long. I'm gonna speed up just a bit. And to speed, I'm just gonna hit the top of the button here. And you can see the speed actually increase. So I'm gonna get that up to 60. And semi-autonomous pilot is still on. Notice the sturden wheel. So it's gonna keep me in my lane and it's gonna keep me a safe distance in front of the car in front of me. And behind the car in front of me. And of course I'm going far too fast. So I'm gonna slow that down once more. 65 miles per hour. I have the maximum amount of distance. I'm gonna come back to the steering wheel. I'm gonna zoom that in. So I'm gonna have a minimal distance. And semi-autonomous pilot is now off. Notice the steering wheel is not lit in green. Let's go ahead and re-engage that feature. So there we are there. So now, I'm gonna back off a bit, I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. Now remember, the bottom of the screen right here, you can see the stern wheels in green. That's simply showing me semi-autonomous pilot is truly in effect. I had, don't have a, my hand on the stern wheel. I'm gonna back out so you can see that. Semi-autonomous pilot is still in play. I'm still rolling forward, so I'm just gonna back out so you can see the whole thing here. Apply stirring, so I'm gonna touch the stirring wheel once again. Semi-autonomous pilot, when it's in that mode, the vehicle will actually ask you to grab the stirring wheel to apply stirring. It just wants to make sure that you're still behind the stirring wheel. It's not designed to fully drive itself, but the great part about it is, it actually will do that for a number of minutes. Now the clicking or the chime that you continue to hear, that's simply telling me that the vehicle, I'm over the speed limit. So I've just changed lanes and let's re-engage. There again, you can see the steering wheel lit there in green right beside the speed limit. Gonna zoom back out, going around a curve. My hands are lightly on the steering wheel so it's taking me around the curve, I'm right in the line. The guy behind me they may not appreciate that, but if my hands are tied or 
if I'm looking for my cell phone, you will greatly appreciate the fact that you're behind the car at a safe distance and you're inside of your lane. So semi-autonomous pilot is still riding. Now keep in mind, I can't increase the distance. Simply here on the steering wheel, I can back off. Now notice the icon there, or I can actually zoom back in or go to a closer distance. I wanna follow the Mazda in front of me. So we're just gonna keep rolling because now my speed has adjusted. Remember, I was actually going 65 earlier. It's now adjusted to the Mazda in front of me. Semi-autonomous pilot, which is there, is still in play. And I'm just gonna zoom out and just, you can watch it do its thing. So again, you can see in the heads up display, it's actually saying applied stirring, which I think I was a little too late bringing you in, so you may not have seen that. We're gonna get off and I'm gonna try that one more time and show you exactly what semi-autonomous pilot is like. Now in addition, you can actually see the navigation screen and play behind the steering wheel as well.